Hey guys, so I'm sorry that I couldn't get us coming in and everything. Um, we have to respect the Medical Privacy Act as well as we cannot get anything about the hospital in this video. Um, I will be able to film everything from here as long as I don't get the hospital involved. Um, instead of having us come in and me videoing that, I took some pictures of the process that it takes to actually get back here and do all this stuff because it is very complicated. Of course. Of course. We also got to go get insurance, so we're going to be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got insurance ready tags. Well, still, yeah. we're going to be illegal. <laughs> so, I just told my mother, now I have to dress up when I go out because I ain't got no man to him. So, now I got to impress people again. What the hell? This woman right here does some annoying shit while she's waiting on this doctor. She tells me that whenever she's here with my aunt, that all she does is she flips her flip flops and annoys the hell out of my aunt. I don't know if you can hear it, but she is squeaking over there. She is annoying the hell out of me. I am not squeaking. You are squeaking. I'm old, but I ain't squeaking. What? <laughs> so I might be old, but I ain't squeaking. <laughs> you make no sense. Okay guys, we finally were able to get back here. We are currently at 1B, which means that we're awesome. <laughs> you ready to start chemo, mama? I'm ready to get over no end. <laughs> I had to wait for them to make my medicine though. That takes a couple hours sometimes, but I have to do my lab work. Tell them about chemo. It's a needle in my arm and this one doesn't make me sick. The first one made me real sick and I throw up and keep going. This one I have no side effects from. How long does this process usually take waiting on your medicine? Uh, it will depend on the lab work. Sometimes the lab work takes a while and take two or three hours. Once they start the treatment, this one only takes an hour where I was taking treatments that take two or three hours at a time. And it'd be two or three bags. So guys, we're getting ready to put the needle in my mom. Um, they are currently having a problem finding a vein that's actually going to work because my mom's veins roll. And they're having to get the light. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. And what does the, the light, light do? Amazing. You have to see what the light does. The light I'm going to have to show them what the light does. Yes, it's amazing. Because I've never seen this. I do have permission to film the nurse putting the needle in my mom. Um, I cannot get her face in this just for um, legal purposes. Legal purposes. Both my mom through her whole entire process, and she is just amazing, and she's very caring and loving. So. You have anything to say about your nurse? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so good to me. I could. Did you see it right? That's the one I was looking at right there. Mm -hmm. I was trying to make sure it was kind of straight. So this is the light that she was talking about. Yes. There's the right there's on it. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. I just wanted to make sure it was mm -hmm. straight enough to hold it. Get my stuff together. I'm gonna use a small needle still. Though. She washed all my lotion off. I put on I this know. morning. Well, it's actually good not to wear lotion before you come in because the tape won't stick. As well. At least on the arm, we're doing that. Be sometimes I don't want to say, but I wiped it off. Let me look at it again because and that was a while ago too. So. Yeah, that's kind of where I was looking right there a while ago, and I just wasn't sure how straight it was going to be. I 
Cody. Right now she's putting saline into my mom's arm. Let's see, that didn't hurt at all. Good. Good blood return. We're good. You could do <laughs> Two, one, begin. What do you want me to say? Okay, I want you to talk about simply how you felt whenever you found out, whenever you found out, how you found out. Okay, well, I mean, I found out because of a car wreck. I was in an accident, cracked eight ribs, and when they did my x rays to find the ribs, then, um, uh, that's when they found the spots on my lungs. In June of last year, I got diagnosed with third degree, or third stage lung cancer. And I've been fighting it ever since then. I've gone through three different types of chemos. I've gone through daily radiation for three months. And I don't know what it's for me to say. I mean, when I first got diagnosed, I thought I was gonna die. I thought it was my death sentence. And then I realized I could either to either give up or I could fight for the most amazing young woman that there ever was on this world. So I decided to fight. And how much longer do you until you get to ring the bell? I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it's going to be in October. Or maybe, well, I missed a couple of treatments, so it may be the 1st of December. But hope, I'm hoping and I'm praying that everything works out and I will soon be ringing that bell. Which they will still have to monitor me to make sure that nothing is going on. But it's just another step closer. So I'm stronger than I thought I was. And I'm like my sister, who has always been there with me and helped me. And then here's Angel back because I'm going to cry. Well, I got Bobo a little shirt. And I told mom he is adorable, but he looks like a little tiny cop car. He wants his blanket. His shirt says influencer. Say bye, Bo. Say bye, Bo. Say bye. So, a quick little update. Um, me and Mom went, um, ate lunch, spent some time together, and ended up going to the fish store, spending about $80. Something about that line. Um, ended up getting two crabs. Um, Two more mollies as well as a sucker fish and a snail. Mom got her two um, guppies and we've already got the tank set up. We're planning on going out to eat. So, uh, yeah. Um, I will film some more and I will post this tomorrow. Bye. So I just got I'm done setting up my crab tank. Um, they seem to be enjoying it. Um, I have two, Stephen and Eugene, both because they are cheap ass people. <laughs> One of them is a character, but oh well. <laughs> you, where's your filter system in there? Don't worry about it. You didn't put it in there? Nope. There's not a plug over there. They won't climb out these holes, will they? No. Ooh. I see one right there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get one. Maybe they grow camera. and have fresh crab. Shut up! <laughs> hey, I like me some crab meat now.
I will cook your guppies. <laughs> I like me some crab meat. Look at him. He's camera shy. Oh, no, he's not. Yes, he is. He's getting away from me. He's camera shy. No, it's because there's an object going towards him. But we ended up going... I don't know what the hell my... Do you see him doing that? The um, 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 he's hungry. He's fussing. He's mad. He's fussing. That's Mike's dead, too. If you bring another fish in this house, or if you bring another tank in this house, you're going to move out and put all the tanks in your room. The tanks aren't going anywhere, but you're leaving. The I want to fuck stay. you, too. The tanks can stay. But I got to have space so, for the tanks. I like my setup a lot in this tank. Um... You can see them from all angles. So. Yeah. Soon we're going out to eat. And. I will keep you updated on. Eugene and Steven later. Hey guys. We ended up going out to eat. Um, This is my Aunt Sandra. Say hi Aunt Sandra. Hi. Her air don't work at mine don't either. Mama. You ready? Hi. I'm going to Say hi, Uncle Ricky. Say hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> that was so good. First and last dinner together. <laughs> Can't say you're anywhere. Yeah, I'll rip this thing next time. No, it's all right. I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't rip these rice. I'm good. Can you love off the bird if bear? Hey guys, so I'm sorry that I didn't get to upload. Um, whenever I said I was going to, I ended up getting busy and I'm having to record this actually a week after. But um, I'm going to put everything from that night's event, um, including my new pets um put those in here as well and i will be able to post sunday so i will see you on sunday hey guys so i'm actually going to be teaching my mom how to do the chop chop slide this is actually going into part two of my hero so let's get it and yes my mom is in her pjs uh oh and here we go That's Mikey Clark, and we're the Insane Clown Posse. And this here is the Chop Chop Slide. If you heard something similar to this, fuck that, because we the shit. Juggalos, what's our signal? Woo woo! That's right. Now what we're going to do is clap four <laughs> times quickly and bust the signal. Woo woo! Woo woo! Not bad, not bad. <laughs> but let's do it again. So we all go a little slow on that clapping. Let's try it again. Here we go now. Woo woo! Woo woo! Not bad, not bad. But some of y'all just need to loosen up, just loosen up. I know everybody has their own little dance that they can do, their own little personal get jiggy move. We're gonna bust it right now. Get loose, y'all. Looking good, Juggalos. But some of y'all still got rigor mortis. We need to loosen on up. We're gonna get jiggy in your own kind of way. Come on. Ignore my mom's foot. But you know, it wouldn't be a juggalo party if somebody didn't get shot. Now, right about now, I want you to picture you have two nine millimeters, one in each hand. And here's what you're gonna do, juggalos. You're gonna take those guns, right? Put them in the air and. <laughs> oh yeah. Now right about now, your neck is red. That's right. We all got a red neck. And we're sipping that moonshine right about now. Everybody's a redneck and we're all dosy doing, spinning around. Here we go. Now shoot that redneck. 
Okay, now clap four times and bust the signal. your arms, fold your arms, cause we the shit, we the shit, we the shit, what are we, we the shit, we the shit, we the shit, cross your arms, we the shit, we the shit, we the shit, what are we, we the shit, we the shit, we the shit, that's right, we the shit, but we ain't too cool to get loose, hell nah, juggalos, do your thing, out juggalos pull your hatches and put them in the air because it's time for somebody to die in this bitch come on and then shoot that bitch uh-oh send in the rednecks all of them spinning round and round Too much murder, and when they get here, they're gonna find out that we the shit. Come on, cause we the shit, we the shit, we the shit. What are we? We the shit, we the shit, we the shit. Cross your arms, we the shit, we the shit, we the shit. What are we? We the shit, we the shit, we the shit. Yeah, and you know juggalos ain't never afraid to cuss. This is Open where I step in for my and let it out. Come on, okay, here we go. Fuck shit. Again, twice as loud and be proud. Fuck shit, pussy ass, motherfucking damn bitch, bitch, damn motherfucking ass, pussy shit, fuck. Alright, fam. That's what we are, family up in here tonight. Everybody look to the person next to you, in front of you, behind you, give them a dab. Now bust your shit. You miss somebody. Someone got away. Pull out your guns. All right, juggalos. Let me hear that filthy mouth. Fuck shit, pussy ass, motherfucking damn bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Gets me every time on that one. Also known as the Juggalo Step. And always remember, what album is this on? Bang, pow, boo! What album is this on? Bang, pow, boo! 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 So that was me teaching my mom how to do the chop chop slide. I know there's a lot of cussing in it, but <laughs> she tried to keep up. She tried to do it, but uh, we got some work. We got some work to do. I'm so sorry. But it was. I'm so sorry you fun. had to see my mom's ass. But okay. But it was fun. You want to see it again? <laughs> She's goofy. But I love her. You're, you're a spitting image of your mommy. <laughs>